We all love the low country lifestyle, which is why we should do our best to protect it. To get insurance that helps you protect your home from whatever the low country throws at you, contact CT Lounge and Company today. Their local agents can review your coverage to help make sure you're properly protected. CT Lounge and Company has been helping protect and insuring the low country since 1850. Visit ctlounge.com to learn more and request a quote. That's CT L O W N D E S dot com. Judy was boring. Hello. Then Judy discovered jumbacasino dot com. It's my little escape. Now Judy's the life of the party. Oh baby, Mama's bringing home the bacon. Whoa, take it easy, Judy. <laughs> The Chumba life is for everybody. So go to chumbacasino dot com and play over a hundred casino style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino dot com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. Eighteen plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. of the woodland. Ranger Bill, warrior of the woodland, struggling against extreme odds, traveling dangerous trails, showing rare courage in the face of disaster. In the air. On horseback. Or in a screaming squad car. Ranger Bill, his mind alert, a ready smile, unswerving, loyal to his mission. And all this in exchange for the satisfaction and pride of a job well done. Impossible. Oh, what's impossible, Stubby? Oh, I'm just trying to tie the broken ends of this rubber band together. Oh, that shouldn't be so hard. Here, let me try it. Sure, go ahead, Henry, if you think you can. Oh, hey, this rubber band is covered with oil. No wonder it won't tie. I could have told you that if you'd asked, but you was too ready to just show me up. Well, how did it get covered with oil? Oh, I was using it to hold an oily rag around this here gadget, but it broke. I suppose the oil rotted it or something. <laughs> this sure is funny, trying to tie this oily rubber band. I can't even keep hold of it, let alone make a knot. I know. Hey, what does this remind you of? I don't know. Maybe the way some folks try to get into heaven, spending all eternity trying to do something that can't be done. I was thinking of something we all did a couple of summers ago. Does that give you a clue? I think I know what you're talking about, Val. Oh, I thought you'd remember, <laughs> Bill. You're thinking of that canoe trip that was interrupted at camp, aren't you? Right. And you trying to make your way along... Oh, the... yeah, now I remember. How'd that whole thing begin, Bill? Well, as I recall, we were all at camp and had been there for about a week. Pete Floor, he was going to take a group of the fellas on a canoe trip. Now, this will be the, the first time in a canoe for a lot of you fellows, so I want you to pay strictest attention to what I say and do. A canoe is a simple craft to handle, providing you don't goof off and cause trouble can be a very wet and dangerous experience if you do. <laughs> now, Henry will take charge of one canoe, and I'll handle the other. We'll go downstream about five miles to just before that patch of rapids. When we get there, we'll take the canoes ashore and walk them around the rapids and then go a few miles further. There's a nice area down there for a small camp, so we'll spend the night there and return tomorrow. Any questions? Last year we went right through the rapids, Mr. Flory. How come we're not doing it this year? The river's begun rising earlier this year, and a great many of the rocks down in that area are below the surface. It'd be too easy to hit one and get into real trouble. And besides, fellas, you don't want to miss the funny sight of us walking the canoes along the bank. All you see is an upside-down canoe with a whole lot of legs sticking out under it. <laughs> Looks like a big bug. <laughs> well, if that's understood, we'll get set to leave. Get your overnight gear and meet back here. We'll divide up then, and from that time on, follow what I say or what Henry says, depending on which canoe you're in. We can have a good time, but we have to have a safe time, too. Well, 
Well, Pete, looks as though you're all ready for the big excursion. Just about, Bill. The canoes are almost loaded. Uh huh. Well, I'll miss uh, being with you fellas, and uh... I know a couple of kids you won't be too brokenhearted to miss. Oh. See, over there. Ed Winther and Paul Yards. Well, those are just the kind of fellas this camp is designed to reach, isn't it, Pete? Can't expect them to be angels to start with. I guess so. <laughs> you sure see the difference between the Christian fellas and the others here at camp. Well, let's hope the fellas like Ed and Paul see the difference, too. And are impressed enough with the difference that they'd like to become Christians. I hope that happens this summer. Wouldn't be the first, would it? And that's why I'm still sold in this camp. Well, looks like we're about ready to set out. Pray for us, Bill, especially that Ed and Paul will somehow be impressed with the Christian message. I'll do that, Pete. Take it easy now. Uh, take it easy, pal. So long, fellas. We'll see you tomorrow. You can see how quickly a canoe will carry you from one place to another. Much faster than the ordinary flat-bottomed boat. Didn't a canoe used to be the ordinary kind of boat, Mr. Flory? When there were just Indians in this area, that was probably true, but their canoes were a far cry from these aluminum craft. The water sure is fast along here. That's why we're setting out on this expedition a little earlier than usual this year. The water is much more swift than I can remember it, and the river is rising way ahead of schedule. Why? Probably because there is a faster snow and ice melt up in the mountains this year. I like the faster river, because you don't have to use the paddles at all. Except the steer. Yeah. <laughs> we'll be needing to think about steering over to shore in another mile or so. We're starting to get near to the place where there are rocks in the river. Pull the canoes up away from the river, fellas. And we'll stop here for lunch before we move on. Ed and Paul, you fellas pull that canoe up, and Tim and Frank take care of the other one. Okay. Boy, the river's a lot faster than I've ever seen it, Pete. It's a good thing we're not trying those rapids this year. It's a good thing we're not trying those rapids this year. What's the matter with you, Ed? Oh, these sissies make me sick. Paul, be careful. Look out. Don't take any chances, and on and on and on. You'd think every step we took was just one away from disaster. Well, they seem to know what they're talking about, Ed. You fallen for this stuff? I don't know why I let my folks talk me into coming up to this camp. All this religious talk, never doing anything exciting. Well, I, I like the canoe trip down here this morning. Sure, it was nice. But it would have been a whole lot better if we'd have shot them rapids. Well, you heard what they said about hidden rocks. Ah, talk, all talk. These Christians are a bunch of sissies. They just stay away from anything that looks like it might be exciting. Really? Sure. I could take one of those canoes right through those rapids without sweat or strain. You could? Easy. Ever done anything like that before? Doesn't matter. I've seen stuff like that done a hundred times on television. All you got to do is keep your balance. The rocks make the water flow around and the canoe follows the water. See? Simple. Yeah, it sure seems like it. I wonder why they didn't let us do it. I told you, these Christians are sissies. Well, maybe they didn't think we could all keep our balance. Maybe. Huh. They probably couldn't. Hey, let's show them. Show them, show them what? Let's shoot the rapids and just sit and wait for them on the other side. You mean, well, you and me in a canoe? Sure. Boy, I... Well, I don't know. What's the matter? You afraid? Oh, no. I just thought the... Well, maybe we ought to ask first. <laughs> are, are you nuts? You know what they'd say. Oh, well, I guess they wouldn't let us. You guess right. Come on. Here we are with this canoe, and nobody's paying attention to us. Let's get going before they see us. But I I don't think we're Now gonna... what? Well, they'd only have one canoe for all the guys if we took this one. Sure, and they'd be thankful for it. What do you mean? All they're going to do is carry these things to the place below the rapids... They only have to carry one. They'll be thanking us when they catch up. Oh, now come on. If we're going to go, we've got to get out to the river fast. You're you're sure you know how to do it? I told you, didn't I? Oh, I guess so. Then come on, let's go. Yeah, boy, I'm hungry. 
Okay. Okay, guys, line up for chow. Did you get those canoes far enough from the river's edge to... Hey, where's the other canoe? Look, out there in the river. Oh, no. What's the matter, Henry? Out on the river. It's Ed and Paul. Is it? Somehow they've gotten back out there and are headed for the rapids. Boys, Ed, Paul, steer for shore. Steer for shore. Rapids, a little way downstream. Oh, let's stay on the other side. They're doing that on purpose. Those crazy kids. There's no telling what might happen to them. What are we going to do? I have a feeling we're going to need that big medical kit and some help. Those fellows can't possibly make it through those rapids without a spill, and who knows what. Tim, Frank, get back to camp and tell Bill what's happened. Get him here in a hurry with a medical kit and, and whatever else he thinks we'll need. It'll take a long time to get back to camp. All right, run 100 paces and then walk 100. You should make it inside of an hour. Bill can drive down here in the Jeep. Hurry now, boys. Okay. We'd better see what we can do from here. Fellas, start setting up camp, and no horsing around. You can see where that might get you. Henry lets you and I run along the bank and see what we can do to get Ed and Paul into shore. Come on. Ha, <laughs> ha, Ah, now this is what I call a canoe ride. It's sure getting fast. Just start practicing getting your balance, Paul. We're getting near where the rocks are. I'm beginning to wonder if we should have done this, Ed. <laughs> Some time to wonder. Hey, steer us a little more to the middle. The big rocks are probably near the shore. Well, maybe we ought to steer for shore. Back down now? How would that look to the rest of the kids? Uh, I guess so. I just... Hey! Uh, what happened? We must already be over the rocks, Ed. The paddle was knocked right out of my hand. I didn't see any. Well, they said the river was already covering some of them. Well, here's the other paddle. Now hold on to this one and get us into the center of the stream. Hey, hey, hold on. We must be right in the middle of things, Ed. We sure are. I can see some of the rocks coming up. <laughs> what are we going to do? Keep your balance. Keep your balance and try to steer us away from the rocks you can see. Ed, I'm scared. I don't think you really know what you're talking about. Never mind. Just try to work toward shore. Toward shore? Shut up and do I... it. Oh, hang on. Quick, steer to the left. To the left. I'm Come trying on. to. Oh, that was close. Now to the right. I, I, I You have to. The paddle broke off on that last. Uh, hold on and, and try to keep your balance. Oh, we're going to crash. We're going to crash. Just try to keep your balance. How far do you think they got? Hard to tell. The river's so swift. Maybe around this next bend we can... Hey, there they are. Out in the middle. We might as well stop. Yeah, there's nothing we can do but watch. Hey, look at them. Yeah, it looks like Paul's holding a broken paddle handle. They're out of control. Uh-oh, that big rock. They've crashed. Swim for that rock and hold on. Swim for the rock. I don't think they can hear you. It makes me feel better to at least shout to them. Hey, they're doing it. Hey, look. They've made it to that flat rock out there. Hey, they've made it up on it. Well, at least they're safe. Huh? Safe? Out there in the middle of a raging river where no one can get near them? And the water rising all the time? I don't know if I'd call that safe. <laughs> Just lucky to make it to this flat rock. I guess so. But now what do we do? You're the guy with all the answers, Ed. Figure this one out. Oh, shut up. So I goof. Haven't you ever made a mistake before in your life? Not like this. I should never have listened to you. Okay, okay. But that doesn't do us any good now. Well, let's hope them fellows on shore will think of some way to get us off this rock. Why should they? Huh? I said, why should they? We got ourselves into this mess. It looks like it's up to us to get out. Oh, but there ain't any way. Look around. You couldn't jump to the nearest rock if you're a track star. And that water is way too fast to swim. You know how they just threw us against this rock. I'll come up with something. Oh, well, if you do, you can try it out. What do you mean by that? Just what I said. I'm not trying any more of your ideas. For all I know, you might... What's the matter? <gasps> Well, look there on the edge of this rock. 
What about it? Well, it used to be longer. Huh? I mean, well, there, there used to be about three or four step-like places over on the edge. Well, now there's only two. You must have made a mistake. No, well, I didn't make a mistake, Ed. I remember just counting the... I, I, I don't know why. What are you trying to say? Well, it's like Mr. Flory said. The river's rising fast. Ed, this rock is slowly being covered with water. There's no telling how long it'll be before it gets completely covered. And then what happens to us? Hang on, Stumpy. I hope them young whippersnappers ain't in too much danger. So do I, Stumpy. I'm all for kids learning lessons, but... Sometimes ain't around long enough to profit from them. That's why it's a good idea to pay attention in the first place. You're right there, Bill. We should be seeing something soon. The real rapids start right around that bend up ahead. Well, I hope... That... Hey, look up there, Bill. It's Henry. He's waving to us. I see him, old-timer. Bill, Stumpy. Boy, are we glad to see you. Henry, where are the two boys who are in trouble? Come on around the bend. You'll see him. Okay. Get out here. How'd they get that canoe away, anyhow? We just weren't watching closely enough. Oh, who would have thought anybody would have... Oh, here we are. Hello, Bill. Stumpy. Well, what do you think of our two friends out there? Great horny toads. Well, there just doesn't seem to be any way short of a helicopter to get them. Naughty Pine is too far away to go for one. We've got a real problem, haven't we? I'll say... Are either of them hurt? Not that we can make out. It's a little hard to yell at them over the roar. How do you think we can get them, Bill? Well, we might take the other canoe out there and pick them up. You want to try it, Bill? I think we'd join them at best. There are just too many hidden rocks. Mm -hmm. With the river rising the way it is, got to do something pretty quick. Hey, I never thought of that. How long is that rock even going to be above water? There's another reason we have to work in a hurry. Why is that, Bill? Look up there. In the sky? Uh oh Looks like a storm brewing up there. Exactly. That storm hits here and near here. That river just may have a flash flood. Which could sweep those fellows right off that rock in no time. Wow. We have to think of something. Say, Pete, how far upstream would you have to go before you think you could make a safe crossing of this river? From here? That's right. Oh, I'd say about well, just back of this bend. It's hardly rocky at all there. Not more than a few hundred feet, huh? That's right, but Why? Have you got an idea, Bill? I think he was just curious. Of course he's got an idea. Stumpy, how much rope do we have in the Jeep? Rope? Rope? Uh, about two or three rolls of a hundred feet or so each. If we tied the rolls together, do you think they'd stretch across the river at this point? Oh, I get it. Stretch a rope from one side to the other and use it as a bridge. That's about it, Henry. Well, Stumpy? Near as I can figure, yep. They would, tied together. Good. Uh, Pete? Yeah? You and that rope will have to go across the river. Right. One end of it, anyway. Once you get there, we'll walk along the banks opposite each other, go at the place where those boys are. Then we'll have to pull the rope tight and make it secure. There are plenty of trees along the bank. Boy, what a great idea. You think those kids will be able to make it to shore by the rope? I doubt it. I'll go out, hand over hand, and bring them back with me. I don't think they'd be up to trying that distance alone. Right. Wow. But we got to move. You want to get them off that rock before the storm breaks. What are they doing? Nothing. Just nothing at all. What? Sure, they stood there on the shore, Ranger Bill and everybody, and then decided we were just a hopeless case... They went away. But they wouldn't do a thing like that. Why not? All we are to them is trouble. So maybe they figure we can just die from this accident and they'll be done worrying about us. But they can't. Help! Help! Sit down. That won't do any good. Nobody will hear you over all this water. And even if they did, so what? Even Ranger Bill himself couldn't figure a way off this rock for us. We just got ourselves into a mess, and that's that. Well, you got us into a mess, you mean. I didn't think it was such a hard idea. That doesn't matter. You went along with it, didn't you? Well, I didn't like it. So? Well, it, it seems different, that's all. 
Only, well, maybe it really ain't. I don't know. I only know that... Hey. What's the matter? Huh? Oh, I'm seeing things. What are you talking about? Look, look upstream. Well, I must be seeing things, too. It looks like a rope. Huh? All the way across the river. But how? Look over there on the bank, coming around the bend. And over there. <gasps> oh, they didn't leave us. They didn't leave us. They just went up there to where it was safe to cross. And now they're bringing a way off this rock. I can't believe it. After all the trouble we've been. But they are. They are. They sure look in a hurry. They can't be that anxious to see us again. Well, the way they keep looking up, maybe they're worried about that bunch of dark clouds coming this way. Well, I figure if they're worried about them, so am I. Well, me too. Come on, Ranger Bill, Mr. Floyd, hurry! One more pull ought to do it, Stumpy. I wish you fellas let me help. You save all that energy, Bill. You're the one that's going to be going out there after him. Come on, Henry. Pull! There. Now, now, quick. Tie her down, Henry. I can't hold her forever. Right. I've got it. There. Whew. That was a real job. How's she look, Bill? Is it high enough off the water? It's fine, fellas. No time to admire our work, though. That storm is closing in fast. Just keep an eye on that knot and don't let it slip. We sure won't. You can depend on that, Sonny. Good. I'd better get out there. There isn't much time. There's a lot to do. Boy, Stumpy. What a guy. <laughs> you can say that again, Sonny. <laughs> Look at him come. Boy, I never saw anybody go along the rope hand over hand as fast as Bill does. Boy, he's moving plenty fast, all right. And you were telling me what sissies Christians are. Oh, lay off. He's almost here. And he sure is coming at the right time. Look how small this rock has gotten since we crawled onto it. Make a little room there, fellas. There. I think I prefer a hike any day. Oh, we sure are glad to see you, Bill. Yeah. As soon as I catch my breath, I'll take one of you back with me. Well, how are you going to do that? Just climb up on my back and hang on for all you're worth. I'll go back the same way I got here. But won't that be too much no trouble? No time for chatting, fellas. That storm isn't going to hold off so much longer. Which one of you is going? Take Paul here. I don't deserve to be saved. We'll get you both off this rockhead. But okay, I'll take Paul first. Hop up on my back, Paul. Uh, let's go for a ride. Here he comes. Boy, what a lot of strength that must be taking. Step back, Sonny. Give him plenty of room. End of the line. <sighs> <sighs> I'm glad a whole canoe full aren't stranded out there. You'd better take a little rest, Bill. No time now, Henry. Not even sure I can make it out there and back. That storm. Oh, here she comes! Oh, and there goes our chance to get Ed off that rock. I'll try to get out there. But, Bill, in this rain? The river will be rising in a hurry with this rain. I've got to. But aren't you still pretty tired from carrying me? No time to talk. Well, he's some guy. He should only know how terrific. Bill is... Hey, look. He slipped off the rope. Must be this rain. The rope's slippery. Good thing he wasn't very far out. He's waiting back to shore. Hey, you okay, Bill? Sure, Henry. That rope's too slippery to hang on to. Well, what are we going to do? We've got to get Ed off that rock. Look at it. It's almost underwater. That young whippersnapper will be washed off there inside a minute. Only one way I can think of. It's a long shot, but we don't have time to think. What is it, Bill? we we'll have to show both young Ed and also Pete on the other side of the river what we want them to do. They never hear us in all this storm. Yeah, I see what you mean, Sonny. What's the plan? Henry, 
hang your arms over the rope. Like this, you see? Lean over it with your arms hung over the rope. That's the way Ed has got to get onto that rope. That way he won't have to try to hold that slippery rope in his hands, huh? Right. Then we've got to loosen this rope from the trees it's tied to and walk back upstream, dragging Ed along with us. Through the water? At least until we're past the rocky area. Then we can let go of one end and pull him in. Boy, I sure hope it works, Bill. So do I, Henry. We haven't got a lot of time to think of anything else. That rock is just about completely covered. Now, quick, hang over the rope, show Ed how we want him to do it. Now give Pete the signal to loosen the other end and start walking with it. Hey, fellas, fellas, may I have your attention, please? Thanks. I'm supposed to give the devotional message tonight, and I had something already, but today something's happened that gave me a much better message than I could have thought of. We're all glad to see Ed and Paul safe with us after a very close escape. Well, I guess we all know that Ranger Bill risked his life to get them off that rock. Well... Ed uh, has said to him, after he was safe, why did you do it? Why did you risk your own life just to help me out? He said that his own stupidity got them in that fix, and it didn't seem right to risk someone else's life to get them off. I hope you don't mind me telling this, Ed. No. Well, Bill's answer was simple, but, but really good. Would you tell us what he told you, Ed? He said, maybe it was our own fault that we got in that fix. We were in a position where we just couldn't help ourselves. He said he helped us because we needed help. That's all. Thanks, Ed. And it occurred to me that that's exactly the way God is with us. Spiritually, we're all in a fix. The kind of a fix that we can't help ourselves out of. Our sins have made us enemies to God, and there's no way out of that. But God has helped us by sending his son, Jesus Christ. Jesus lived the only perfect life in history, and then he was killed and and punished as though he were the worst sinner as the world has ever known. And why? Because this was God's way of helping us out of our hopeless position. Jesus died for us. He didn't need to for himself. And when we accept his death and punishment as a gift for us, God accepts the offering of Jesus for us and makes things right between us and him. And just like Bill risking his life for Ed and Paul this afternoon, God has done this just because we can't help ourselves. You know, it's awfully hard to understand, fellas. But, you know, I think it might be a a little easier with this afternoon to think about. What do you think, huh? Let's pray. That was quite an experience, all right. It sure was. You know, it's funny the kind of experiences that God uses to impress people with his message. Paul, and even hard as nails Ed, gave his life to Christ as a result of that, Bill. I can say this from a lot more years than either of you. It sure is thrilling to watch God working in the hearts of fellas and girls. Yes, it is, Stumpy. Boys and girls, we hope you've experienced God working in your heart. And we hope you've given your heart to him and trust him as your Savior and Lord. Well, see you next week for more adventure with Ranger Bill! Ranger Bill is produced in the radio studios of the Moody Bible Institute of Chicago.
Okay, round two. Name something that's not boring. A laundry? Ooh, a book club. Computer solitaire, huh? Ah, oh, sorry. We were looking for Chumba Casino. That's right. Chumbacasino.com has over a hundred casino-style games. Join today and play for free for your chance to redeem some serious prizes. Chumbacasino.com. No purchase necessary. Void were prohibited by law. Eighteen plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Wells Fargo presents one of the surest ways to grow your money: a Wells Fargo CD account. Where you can earn a 5.00 percent annual percentage yield on an 11-month term with a minimum opening deposit of $5,000. Visit a Wells Fargo branch or wellsfargo.com/cdrates to open a CD account and start growing your savings with us. Wells Fargo Bank NA Member FDIC.